I would now like to yield two minutes to the gentleman from Tennessee, uh, Mr. Steve Cohen, such a phenomenal leader in the law and on almost every subject we deal with here. Thank you, Ms. Kaptur. It's been said that everything has been said, but not everybody's said it. And everything really has been said, and I've heard such great oratory and such passionate patriotic speakers. But what's clear is um, we have a duty as the leader of democracy in the world to support our friends and to fight for democracy. In Ukraine, where they are defending democracy and keeping us from having to go in if Putin wins and gets into a NATO country and saving our soldiers' blood and lives. And that will happen. And in Israel, where a similar foe, Hamas, like Russia, knows no limits, is threatening the existence of Israel. Now, I know the Speaker believes that we should support Israel. And when he was first elected, he went to the podium and he said, we will support Israel. But later he said, we'll only support Israel if we cut $15 billion from the IRS and the budget, which would lose us $85 billion overall. Fiscally foolish and morally wrong. Israel should be supported unconditionally. And so should Ukraine, two valiant countries whose existence has been threatened. These are existential fights for Israel and for Ukraine. What happened in Bucha right after the war started, before the Ukrainians were able to repel the Russians, was similar to what happened October 7 in Israel. Murders, rapes, crime. If we allow Russia to win, which we will if we don't support Ukraine, there will be three, four, five, ten times what happened October 7 in Israel to happen to the women and the children of Ukraine because Russians showed they have no respect for women, morality, or mankind. So I urge Speaker Johnson to put these bills on the floor to support Ukraine, to support Israel, to support Taiwan, to support democracy, and to support human relief in Gaza for people who have been victims of innocent victims. Please put these bills on the floor and let us do what America needs to do. I yield back the balance of my time.